Hi, this is Daniel Batten from Northern New England Conference, the Seventh-day Adventists. I'm going to illustrate to you and Jewel how to post checks that you are writing to the computer. Let's first take a look at a bill that we have. We've received this bill from Central Maine Power Company for $231.04. So this is a check we need to post into Jewel that we just wrote. So we come into Jewel, we go to write checks and take whatever check number we're on. For this sample church, let's say that we are at check 154. In the future, you won't, we won't have to note that because the next check it will remember is that, okay, the next check we got to write is we'll check 155. We'll leave today's date in there. Pay to the order of Central Main Power. This is one that the the person we've already put in the computer, and the check amount was for two thirty one oh four. So for the memo, we're going to put um, electric for church. Then for the account, let's see. I think it's going to be something under church expense but I think we want to put the sub account not just this so let's take another look and see what entry options we have here under church expense I think electric would be well to go under utilities church expense so we hit enter and then we put the amount 231.04 and if this is the only check we're needing to post right now we would click the OK box, but if we got more checks, which we do, we will click on New Check, and that's OK. The next check number is check 155, and the next bill that we have to pay is our phone bill to Fairpoint Communications in the amount of $63.91. Now let's go back to Jewel here. And we're going to write post check 155 to the order of Fairpoint Communications. And that check was for $63.91. Is that right? It was for $63.91. So for this, we put telephone bill for church as the memo and we're also going to do this one under 708 but let's see what sub account we really should put it under telephone church expense this will allow us to know how much for the year if we continue to post it into this sub account it will let us know the yearly amount of our telephone expense so if we're done posting checks we click OK that's okay that I didn't select checks to print because we're handwriting the checks out at this point anyway.